ഹലോ എവറിബഡി വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനസ്തീസിയ ടൂൾസ് ടുഡേ വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് എ ലൈഫ് സേവിംഗ് എക്വിപ്മെൻറ്റ് കോൾഡ് ഡി ഫിബ്രിലേറ്റർ നൗ ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ബ്രിങ് യുവർ അറ്റൻഷൻ ടു ദ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡെയിലി വീക്ക്ലി ചെക്കിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് മെഷീൻ ഓൺ യുവർ ക്രാഷ് കാർഡ് ഫോർഗെറ്റ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ബൈ ആനുവൽ ചെക്കിംഗ് ബൈ ദ ബയോമെഡിക്കൽ പേഴ്സണൽ my previous institution sultan kabus university hospital muscat where i discussed with my friend daniel vergis uh, who has been working with uh, uh, sultan kabus university as a registered nurse in as anesthesia nurse in our theater i happened to find out that uh, they had actually recorded the uh, checking protocols welcome uh, daniel Hi Dr Sanish thank you very much to, uh, for having me and uh, hi hello to everyone uh, it was very fortunate actually that uh, we had one of the events where we had to have our continue education and uh, me uh, was, uh, me as a cpr link nurse at that time got an opportunity to get a re- refreshment uh, about our cpr checklist that we do daily in every shift as well as the weekly checklist so we were very privileged to have our few colleagues to show you the same shall we move over to our uh, videos with pleasure doctor okay thank you perform a shift system check every shift to ensure that the defibrillator is functioning properly If you only use external paddles, test only with external paddles. If you only use defib pads, test only with defib pads. And if you use both pads and external paddles, test both. Diane is going to show us how it is to be done. Uh, so the first step that she is going to do is Diane she will connect the load test load to the CPR machine. We have to simultaneously press both buttons together. for the shift check the rotatory knob and the strip it goes into the option shift check now the option shows charge she will charge the machine stand clear as the machine is on test load we don't have to worry we can shock and at the same time the strip comes out this is how the system shift check strip shows hi dayan thank you once again for what we have to do is we have to remove the test load first from the machine there is a unlock option she will be unlocking it very gently the test load has been removed and she will be connecting the paddles as it shown in the picture we will hear the click sound and she will be doing a small tuck test to make sure it's tight and then we will go to our regular shift she will be turning the cpr nozzle the volt nozzle towards manual and simultaneously she will be pressing the strip as usual we have gone into the system check what is different here is we'll be charging and then we'll not be shocking in the device as you see there is no option here there is no option here we'll be charging from the paddles we have charge paddles on both the mach- both, both the side of the machine and she'll be charging together as you see shock was delivered and the strip is out this is our strip for the weekly paddle checking she'll be removing the strip switch off the machine thank you thank you dayan for your cooperation so anam is going to show us how to use the cpr defib aed so uh, as you all know the first procedure will be she will be removing the power because we may patients with aed we may need to defib so the power is out 
then first thing she will do is switch on the machine to AED as you saw the machine is switch on now the second step that she will do is she will remove the pads and this is an adult pad that we have the first pad she will be putting out on the right side chest below the clavicle bone and uh, the second she will be putting on the left side of the chest below the nipple line there is uh, another end this end she will be connecting to the defib machine yes you will hear a small click sound that means it's nicely fixed into that as soon as you fix it and it's connected to the patient it will start showing you the ecg but the ecg will start showing here and then we will follow the voice prompts from the defib it will show us if the patient needs a uh, shock or we just have to monitor the patient okay Apply pads. thank you anam okay that was a wonderful uh, demonstration of the defibrillator checking protocols by Daniel Verghese and team. Thank you very much for that. Thank you so much, Dr. Sanish, for having us. Once again, uh, I thank Ms. Annam Joseph and Ms. Diane Dimilak, uh, who were working with us in SQH for their high cooperation and their willingness to uh, help you all learn the small things that we do and the small things do matter. So thanks for having us, Dr. Sanish. Cheers to everyone. Bless you all. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to uh, leave you with some postcards from uh, SQS Muscat, where I worked a few years back. It's me, Dr. Sanish, signing off.